Something is shaking the architectural world. When American architect Robert Venturi received the Pritzker Prize in 1991, the most prestigious award of the architectural profession, he was surprised. He thought that his wife and partner of decades, South African-born Denise Scott Brown, would be invited to share the honor. His request that Scott Brown be included in the award was denied. At the ceremony, he acknowledged in his words her crucial contributions. Now, more than two decades later, students at Harvard's Graduate School of Design initiated a petition demanding that the 81-year-old Scott Brown be retroactively acknowledged for her work, deserving of a joint Pritzker Prize. The petition was signed by thousands, including Zaha Hadid, the first woman who won the award. Rem Kulhas added a comment to his signature, writing that the fact that one of the most creative and productive partnerships we've ever seen in architecture was separated rather than celebrated by a prize has been an embarrassing injustice. While the names of Venturi and Scott Brown are rarely mentioned in the press today, they are considered among the most important and gifted American architects of the second half of the 20th century. Their role in the Pantheon was freeing American architecture from the dogmatic principles of post-war modernism. Their seminal work, Learning from Las Vegas, is a standard textbook in every architectural school worldwide. In this manuscript, the two propose alternatives to all glass pristine towers in the form of new language that made architectural familiar and accessible to millions of Americans by reinventing taste. They were particularly inspired by the vernacular built fabric of 1960s Las Vegas. It was Scott Brown who had first articulated the potential of Las Vegas to be cultural capstone through a reconnection with traditional American taste. Right now it is unclear whether the Pritzker jury will honor Scott Brown with a retroactive prize, but she is on the record as saying she is moved by the petition and by all signatures that it has garnered from her colleagues. It's a huge, huge reward for me in my old age, she remarked. Personally, I believe that Denise Scott Brown deserved the Pritzker Prize and I will not be alone in celebrating when she wins.